What's up YouTube? I hope each and every one of you guys are healthy and having a great day. It is a nice day outside today. However, it is a bit windy and it is a bit chilly, but that is not stopping us from reviewing the 2023 GMC Acadia Denali. Huge thank you to Jesus Montez over at Coons Tyson Chevy Buick GMC for allowing me to do this review for you guys today. If you guys are interested in this particular GMC Acadia Denali or any GM product with the exception of Cadillac, I'll be sure to have Jesus's information on screen as well as in the description box down below but with that said let's get into the video before we get into the exterior and performance part of this video i greatly appreciate it if each and every one of you guys would give this video a big thumbs up as well as hit that subscribe button all those likes comments and subscriptions really help to make my channel grow and i'm trying to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of 2022 and i cannot do that without your guys' help so i greatly appreciate it if you guys would do both of those things but with that said, let's move into the exterior and performance. And like I mentioned, this is a 2023 GMC Acadia Denali. And this particular one has been painted in the $495 Ebony Twilight Metallic. But let's start over here at our headlights and we'll work our way down and around the Denali. So we do get LED headlights with IntelliBeam as well as LED daytime running lights. And just below your headlights is where you will find your LED fog lights. Taking a step to the left is where you will find your classic big Denali grille in chrome with a chrome grille surround. You also do get black trim around your fog lights as you can see right here and then you have a big chrome trim piece that follows through to the other side of the Acadia. Another thing that you do get with the Acadia Denali is four forward facing sensors as well as just below your M in your GMC emblem is where you'll find your forward facing camera. That forward facing camera goes along with your 360 degree view camera that does come with this specific Acadia Denali. So this particular Acadia Denali does have the $4,145 black diamond edition package. And what you get with that are these 20 inch aluminum wheels with after midnight finish that are wrapped in a 235.55 Michelin Primacy Tour all season tire. I love the tire design of the Michelins. I think Michelins are a flex on any vehicle because they look better than any other tire on the road. In my personal opinion, these things look super sporty. There's a look at your tread pattern. Just to the right of that is where you'll find your body color mirror caps with integrated turn signals in your mirrors as well as these mirrors are heated, power folding, auto dimming on the driver's side. And on the driver's side, you will find your blind spot monitoring on the upper left-hand corner of the mirror. And then on your passenger side, you'll find your blind spot monitoring on the upper right-hand corner of the mirror. And then just below all of that is where you'll find your side view camera that goes along with your 360 degree view camera that you do get with the black diamond edition. Taking a look at the top of the roof is where you'll find your bright roof rails as well as your bright window trim. And then you get body color door handles with a satin chrome surround, which you can find right around here. And then at the bottom of your passenger doors is where you will find your chrome body side molding. You can see another thing that is in chrome is your keyless access button. You press that button that will unlock and or lock the vehicle capless filler neck behind this door in here. 87 octane will do just fine. And then taking a look at the business end of the Denali, you do get LED taillights as well as at the top of the rear end, you have a shark fin antenna that is body color. You also get a backup camera, rear view mirror camera with washer, which you will find just below your M. That's your rear view camera. This is your rear view mirror camera, and that is your rear view mirror camera washer. Obviously you get an intermittent wiper back here with a few different speeds, chrome trim that intersects between your two taillights, Acadia lettering on the left-hand side of your power lift gate. Obviously I just mentioned this does have a power lift gate and then you also find four more sensors at the rear end. So right here, right here, right here, and right here. Two reflectors, one on the driver's side, one on the passenger side. Then you have a chrome trim piece and just below your chrome trim piece is where you'll find your dual exhaust. But one thing I wanted to show you guys that was in the chrome trim piece is that it says Denali and it's kind of indented. It looks pretty sweet. And then also because this does have the black diamond edition, you get the trailering package. Um, and with the trailering package, you have a max tow capacity of 4,000 pounds, but you also do have to have the 3.6 liter V6 option if you guys want that tow capacity. So like I said, you have a power lift gate. So let's pop open that power lift gate and see what kind of storage space we have back here. So with the third row seats up, you really don't have that 
much storage space. However, if you want some more storage space, you can fold these down and then you can see you have tons of more storage space. So with all of these seats folded down, I would say you could probably fit four or five suitcases back here and then opening this up. Get a good amount of storage space down in here. Definitely get more storage space um, with the Traverse. Even with these third row seats up, you have more storage space with the Traverse. You get a little bit of storage space down in there that is indented. I'd say that's about, you know, six inches down in there. And then right here, you have a 12 volt power outlet. If you guys want to fold the second row seats down, you have these two levers over here. So pull that. Now that second row seat drops and uh, you have tons of storage space in the back. So pressing this button, the power lift gate will go right back down. So let me know what you guys think of the 2023 Acadia Denali in the comment section down below. I think it looks fantastic with these wheels on that black paint personal preference but one thing that's also pretty cool is that you can see your GMC center cap is also in like a black with a chrome outline on each of the letters like I said let me know what you guys think I think the GMC Acadia looks pretty sweet because it's got a truck like front end with the boxy design and I absolutely love that but let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below but with that said let's move into performance Popping open that hood reveals that 3.6 liter V6 that makes 310 horsepower and 271 pound-feet of torque. It is made to a nine-speed automatic transmission for a zero to 60 time in 6.1 seconds. If you guys were wondering about fuel economy, you can achieve 19 miles per gallon in the city, 27 miles per gallon on the highway for 22 miles per gallon combined with front wheel drive. But if you guys are enjoying the video so far today, please give this video a big thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button. Like I said earlier on in the video, I am gunning for 10,000 subscribers subscribers by the end of 2022 and I cannot do that without your guys' help. So if you guys want to help me get to my goal, I greatly appreciate it. If you guys would like and subscribe, but with that out of the way, let's move into the interior. All right guys, moving into the interior. Like I mentioned earlier on in the video, you do get keyless access. So all you gotta do is have your key fob in your pocket, walk up to the vehicle, press on this button right here and the driver's side door will unlock. If you guys want all the doors to unlock, all you gotta do is press this button twice fast now the driver's side door is unlocked and all the passenger doors are unlocked as well. But one thing I wanted to show you guys that had to do with the key fob before we move into the interior is that if you press the lock button once and press this arrow button, the vehicle will fire up. So you do get remote start with the Acadia Denali. And then obviously if you press that button twice, the power lift gate will open and or close. So let's move into the interior and take a look at the door panel. So. You get a nice leather wrapped door panel. You get some faux leather at the top, but it feels like real leather, so it might be. With some accent colored stitching, aluminum door handle, two memory seat adjustment settings, unlock and lock button. You get automatic up and down front windows, but you only get automatic down windows in the rear. Like I mentioned, you do get power folding side view mirrors. So press that button and the side view mirrors will fold in. Press that button again and they fold right back out. Here are your power adjustable side view mirror controls. Like I mentioned, you get a nicely padded armrest. You got a nice spot that you can close the door, grab it onto right there. And then right here, this is your power lift gate button. So you can either open up the power lift gate to max, so it opens up all the way, or you can open it up three quarters of the way, or you can turn that off. I like to leave it on max. Then you got a great spot to set a Deer Park water bottle and a couple other miscellaneous items. Beautiful brushed aluminum Denali door sill get your power driver seat as well as a power passenger seat take a look at this jet black interior you can see Denali embossed into the headrests for the two front seats you get some accent colored piping with some accent colored stitching it looks very very premium but let's step into the interior because it's a little bit windy outside and I'm worried about the audio but I might leave the door open for um, lighting's sake so we'll start over here and then we'll work our way down and around the interior as well just like we did on the exterior so you get an interesting type of color trim piece right here. The best way that I can describe it is in um, like a bronzish color. It kind of reminds me of the color that they use on the grills of the high countries. Looks pretty sweet. You also get some wood trimming as well throughout the interior with the Denali. Went down here over on the passenger side dash and then on your door panels it looks really sweet you do get an electronic parking brake and that's the button that you would engage or disengage the parking brake with this button right here actually let's fire her up this button right here or the scroll knob right here will adjust the brightness and or dimness of your gauges as well as your backlit buttons 
then you got your heads up display controls right here i'm gonna close that door because it's a little bit loud so heads up display controls right here you'll find your heads up display right there i'm not sure if you can see it but that's where it's displaying right about there so over here you got your turn signal stock so let's take a listen that's what your turn signal sounds like and then you can see right here it's got like an a that is how you turn your IntelliBeam on or off by the push of that button. Here are your fog lights on. So now the fog lights are on. Twist that down one more time. Fog lights are off. Headlights automatic. Daytime running lights on. And that is your headlights always on. I like to leave it in automatic personally. And then over here you have your windshield wiper stock. Pull back to wash your front windshield. Push forward to wash your rear windshield. Adaptive cruise control stuff over here. This is to turn your heated steering wheel on or off. And then on this side, you have these four arrows to control your eight inch productivity screen. This is to pick up on a phone call and or speak to the vehicle. And this is to hang up on a phone call. You get some more of that bronze color trim piece. And then let's take a listen to that horn. That's what the horn sounds like. You can see it says GMC. And then right here in your aluminum trim, it says Denali. Very nice leather wrapped steering wheel. And like I mentioned, it is heated. Heads up display up top here. And like I mentioned, your heads up display controls are right there. But I do kind of want to walk you guys through your screen. So right now you have your digital speedometer readout at the center of your digital speedometer. On the left-hand side of your gauge cluster, you have your analog RPM gauge, as well as you have a digital oil temperature readout right there. Over here, that is your coolant temperature. That is your fuel gauge. And then right here is your battery voltage. Um, P is for park. NE means northeast, so we're facing a northeasterly direction. That's your odometer down in there. And like I mentioned, these buttons control your productivity screen. So that's your trip information, trip information, fuel information, oil life, tire pressure, air filter life, fuel economy, timer, uh, trans fluid temperature, a blank screen, and then back to here. Click over to the right or to the left. You can go through your music stuff, navigation stuff, phone stuff, and your different settings. Um, this is kind of the screen that I like to leave it on just personal preference But yeah, that's about it for that and then right over here is where you'll find your 8 inch Infotainment screen with wireless Apple CarPlay as well as wireless Android Auto. Let's go into that Continue get your audio phone navigation Wi-Fi hotspot. So this is a Wi-Fi hotspot capable vehicle Users settings Apple CarPlay Android Auto apps OnStar services you can bring up your climate control on this screen get your back button Rear climate, you can also bring up on the screen. Like I mentioned, this does have HD surround vision, so that's your 360 degree view camera. That is your forward facing camera. If you throw it into reverse, that is where your rear view camera will pop up with guidance lines. Back over to here, my GMC, my GMC, you can set up service appointments, and then you obviously know what Sirius XM is. That's the ambient exterior temperature, and that is the current time. Down here, you have your volume knob as well as your tuning knob. This also can control the screen, so you can see it lights up in orange. So if I go into camera, if I press that, now we'll bring up my camera. I can scroll back over to here. So basically, this can also control the screen as well as be your tuning knob. Here are your tuning buttons. This is your home button. This is your back button. Climate control stack um, and then right here you got your park reverse so you get a push to go into park pull to go into reverse push to go into neutral pull to go into drive and then push to go into low and then you can upshift or downshift with these two buttons we'll leave it back in park um, and then just below that is where you will find I'm gonna move my water bottle is where you will find your 12 volt power outlet as well as a USB C port and a USB A port and then you have your inductive charging pad so you can set your phone down in there and it will start wirelessly charging set your phone in there and then it will start charging this is your auto stop start on or off so when it's lit up like that that means auto stop start is on when it goes away that means auto stop start is off traction control on or off hazard button right here and then this is your park assist button on or off as well two cup holders you get some more wood trim which looks fantastic and then your front seats get heated and ventilated functions. So you do get three levels of adjustability for your heated seats and three levels of adjustability for your ventilated seats. Obviously, same thing goes for your passenger side. This is your lane keep assist on or off button. And right here, I believe this would be your, um, this is tour mode. This is snow mode. This is sport mode. Well, twist it and that's sport mode and then you have your tow haul mode so i'll go back and i'll show you the screen go over into sport mode go over into snow mode 
and then we go back into tour mode so you can see it changes colors between each different drive mode so that's pretty cool back over all the way back into tour that's about that get a nicely padded center fold down armrest and then opening this up you have a good amount of storage space down in there i can fit about half of my forearm one thing that's interesting is that on the chevy traverse they actually had a halogen light that lit up what was going on in here and this does not have a light um so that's just something that i find interesting up top here like i mentioned this does have the rear view camera mirror so that is your rear view camera mirror if you guys just want to use it like a regular rear view mirror you can push forward on that now it is just like a regular rear view mirror i personally like to have the rear view camera mirror on and if you don't like uh, how it's zoomed or the brightness and stuff you can click this button right here and now you can adjust the brightness or dimness of that you can also click that again and you can zoom in you can zoom out you can do whatever you want to i kind of like it on this so that's like right in between the two and then you can bring it up and you can bring it down i like it right there right in the middle so yeah a few different things that you can do with the rear view camera mirror this rear view camera mirror does come a part of the 4145 dollar black diamond edition now uh, we'll get into that here in a second this is your onstar stuff this lets you know if your passenger airbag is on or off right now you can see there's no amber light lit up so when i open up the door the interior lights will turn on however if i press this button again and you can see i'll let the lights go away now the amber light is on that means when i open up the door the interior lights do not turn on so that's what that does if i press this button right here that will turn all the interior dome lights on you can see they're all on now and now I press that again they all turn off this button right here will slide this back see now it's sliding back so that's what that button does and then you can see this button right here says tilt so that will tilt the sunroof up just like that press that sunroof tilts up another thing that's interesting um, comparing this GMC Acadia to the Chevy Traverse is that when you get the dual skyscape roof on the Traverse you also have a button in the center that is your electronic slide shade for the second um, roof back there so that roof stays stationary but on the Traverse it has something electronic so you can slide that up by the push of the button up here whereas this one is manual and then it works just like what you find up here in the front so just something interesting this is your driver light this is your passenger light universal garage door opener you get a great spot to set your sunglasses up top here you get your vanity mirror with two vanity lights same thing for the passenger side vanity mirror with two vanity lights you got your grab handle that is your bluetooth mic pickup so when you're talking on the bluetooth phone you can hear the passenger better same thing for the driver side um another thing i guess i should show you guys is that you do have a good amount of storage space in your glove box which you can fit your owner's manual some napkins some straws stuff like that you get some wood grain trim with some more of that bronze type of trim around um, your vent as well as just below your wood very very nice interior in my opinion love you get the heated steering wheel you get the heated seats you get the ventilated seats but there are a couple things that i wanted to go over while we are here in these front seats and that is that you also do get a little bit of storage space here you get a little bit more of that storage space on this side as well down in here so yeah pretty cool Basically the door panel on the passenger side looks the same as what you find on the driver side. So I didn't really go over that. Like I mentioned earlier on in the video, this does have the $4,145 black diamond edition package, which includes HD surround vision, as well as that dual skyscape roof, rear view camera mirror with washer. You get enhanced automatic emergency braking. You get the trailering package. You get adaptive cruise control and you get 20 inch wheels. This also does have the $1,500 three year OnStar and connected services with that you get safety and security unlimited data plan guardian app remote access and app access i do want to read a couple features that come standard with the acadia denali that i think should be highlighted and those features include the heads-up display the wireless charging pad that this is a wi-fi capable vehicle and that this does have the eight speaker bose sound system which in my opinion sounds very very good pretty much all the bose sound systems in gm products all sound very good but i want to read to you guys some safety and security features that also come standard with the acadia denali and those features 
include GMC Pro Safety Plus, which includes IntelliBeam, which is your automatic high beams, as well as following distance indicator, forward collision alert, lane keep assist with lane departure warning, front pedestrian braking, rear cross traffic alert, lane change alert with side blind zone alert, safety alert seat, and teen driver. So while we have those um, safety features on screen, I might as well throw the window sticker on screen as well. So with the window sticker on screen, let's talk about the MSRP. So the MSRP of this particular GMC Acadia Denali is $54,635. So let me know what you guys think of that price in the comment section down below. I think that's a very fair price considering all the features that you do get on this particular GMC Acadia Denali. But I wanna show you guys what's going on in those rear seats. So we'll pop open the door and uh, we'll check out these rear seats. So door panel looks pretty much the same as what you would find at the front. The door is just a little bit bigger, but you do get a cup holder as well as a spot you can set some miscellaneous items, aluminum door handle, automatic down windows in the rear only. And then just like the front, you get some wood grain trim. Another spot you can set your phone down in here. And then another spot you can set a Deer Park water bottle. I'm gonna fold this second row seat up so I can take a seat in it. We'll also unbuckle it. But yeah, pretty much the seat in the second row looks the same as what you would find in the first row. However, this, obviously the second row seats are not power. Looks like there's like a spider web right here that I'm going to take out. I don't think it is a spider web. It's like, a, I don't know. Anyway, seat back pocket behind the driver's seat, seat back pocket behind the passenger seat. This is a tri-zone climate controlled vehicle. Um, you also get heated outboard second row seats with three levels of adjustability. You can see both of those are on three levels of adjustability back here, 120 volt household power outlet, USB-C port, USB-A port. Pulling this open, it reveals uh, some miscellaneous storage as well as two more cup holders. And you know, behind myself, I am adjusted behind myself. I got plenty of leg room, plenty of knee room, and I also have plenty of headroom. I'm five foot nine, grab handle, another grab handle. You got your dome lights and then two HVAC vents for the second row passengers. Here is your um, second stationary roof. So this one does not open. However, you can slide this shade forward and backwards just like that. Get a Bluetooth mic pickup for your second row passengers. Same thing on this side as well. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna scoot this seat forward just a tad so I can fit in the third row and still be comfortable here in the second row. So I'm adjusted behind myself in here and now we're gonna be adjusted behind ourselves in the third row and let's see how much storage or how much leg space I have in the third row. So sitting behind myself, I have a little bit of extra knee room actually, more, more space than I thought, a little bit of leg room and a little bit of headroom. I'd say if I'm like six foot, I don't know how well I would fit back here. USB-A port, no USB-A port on this side, but you get a cup holder, you get another cup holder and some miscellaneous storage right here. So yeah, that's about it for the 2023 GMC Acadia Denali. Let me know what you guys think of the interior in the comment section down below. But we've talked about the interior, we've talked about the exterior, and we've talked about the performance. So I wanna see what this thing's like to drive as I'm assuming you guys do as well. So I will see you guys in the driver's seat. All right, guys, and now on to the driving portion of the review. And one thing I wanted to say is just how smooth that this Acadia Denali drives. The suspensions on the Denalis especially are phenomenally good. They're so smooth, but they can also handle a back road surprisingly well. These things stay so well, um, you know, planted around turns, very minimal body roll. Whereas other cars in this segment, sometimes they got a little bit too much body roll, but GM um, with their SUVs as a whole, their suspension game is just, they really have it down packed. They're very good at, you know, having on-road manners with a nice silky smooth suspension going over bumps and stuff like that. But they also have it tuned to where when you go around turns and stuff, the car remains super flat, which I personally really, really like. Another thing that I really like about the Acadia Denali is just all the features that not only that you get standard, but with the black diamond edition, you get so many features in one package. You get the trailering package, you get the convenience package all in one. Um, for the price of just over, I think it's $4,145 uh, if I'm not mistaken. So just over four grand and uh, you get pretty much a fully loaded vehicle. This one only has front wheel drive. So you could get all wheel drive as an option. This one just doesn't have it. 
However, I would probably recommend you get all wheel drive, especially if you live in a climate like where I do in Virginia. So we do occasionally get um, some snow and stuff like that. But if you guys do get the all wheel drive, just keep in mind that it does get, I believe only one mile per gallon worse on the highway. So it gets 26 highway, whereas this one gets 27 highway. So there's really not much of a difference when you get the all wheel drive versus the two wheel drive or the front wheel drive that this one has. And I think the reason being is that with the all wheel drive Acadia Denali, they have it, um, I think, I'm not 100% sure, but right here on your uh, little selector, you can have it in two wheel drive at all times. So it basically is always a front wheel drive vehicle. However, when you need it, you can throw it into all wheel drive and it can tackle the snow, no problem. So I do think that the all wheel drive is worth it unless you live in Florida, then there's really no reason, unless you have a boat that you're pulling in and out of the water um, to get all wheel drive. But like I said, if you live in a Northern climate, I think all wheel drive is definitely the option to get. But like I mentioned, this suspension is fantastic this road they've been doing construction on for so so long so the road is just absolutely terrible you got different undulations all over the place it's super super bumpy and the acadia just soaks up the bumps so so well one thing i'm not a huge fan of and this doesn't just pertain to the acadia denali but to pretty much all new vehicles is that they all have auto stop start and i really don't like auto stop start however i do like how you can come over here press on this button and you can turn auto stop start off i do not like auto stop start i think it sometimes occasionally can be unsafe because uh, it you know it takes a second for it to fire back up but um i don't know if you're going to be able to see it right now but it's got the heads up display on right here i'm not sure if the camera can see it but you can see i have my speed displayed up top there but i can um, go into here and I can adjust what I see on my heads up display so I can adjust it up I can adjust it down I can see um, the different information but right now we are in demo mode so I guess it's not gonna let me adjust but maybe if I go into there we go so now it'll, it'll let me see what um, what else is on this screen so you can see right under my speedometer I, I don't think you can see but I can see right under my speedometer readout on the heads up display it lets me know that we are on DC 101 and obviously if I change stations, it'll let me know up top there. Um, but another thing that you can go throughout on this info screen um, is like your XM stuff. Go through here, you can see your compass, you can see your RPM gauge. Um, that's XM again, compass and RPM gauge. So I guess those are the only three things or you can just have your digital speedometer readout listed up on there. So yeah, heads up display is awesome. I love heads up display. It's very nice because <laughs> you don't have to look down here when you're on the highway. So you're on the highway for a long time. All you gotta do is literally look out this and you can read your speedometer without having to look down here. I know that's not that big of a deal. I mean, it's not that hard to look down, but it is nice just to see um, the speedometer literally on your windshield. We'll do a little acceleration onto the highway here so you guys can kind of get an idea of how quick um, this one is from zero to 60. So if nobody's behind us, we can do a zero to 60 test, which it looks like nobody's behind us and I'll just gun it in three, two, one, go. Pretty quick, I gotta admit, like that is definitely not slow by any means. It'll absolutely get you up and merged into traffic, no problem. You're not gonna be wishing that you had more power. I mean, at the end of the day, this thing's gonna be used as a daily driver, not a track weapon. So I think it's got the perfect amount of power to get you merged into traffic, to deal with day-to-day -day traffic. Um, and just to, you know, accelerate in traffic as well. Like it's nice to have some low end torque. It's nice to have a good mix of power, but also fuel economy, because when you get into a vehicle like this, you're not going to want to get, you know, the four cylinder and be like, man, I really wish I got the 3.6 liter V6. Yeah. The four cylinder might get a little bit more fuel economy, but you're going to be like, man, this thing is really, really slow. So get the 3.6 liter. It is absolutely worth it. Cruise is fantastic on the highway. This does have active noise cancellation, so it's very, very quiet in here. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just an overall really nice package. I like the way that this one looks. Um, well, actually all the Acadias, I like the way that all the Acadias look because they're all, they have that truck-like appearance because the front end is rather boxy, which I like. I think it looks very good. 
and I know some people might disagree, but I know a lot of people will agree with me on that, that they like the truck look of the Acadias as a whole, not just the Denali. So we'll do another little mild acceleration um, right here, which is actually on an uphill. So we'll do a little something mild. 9 speed shifts so smoothly and this bridge is very very bumpy so let's test her out let's see how she does and it just soaks up the bump so so well again GM's suspension game is awesome love it and then we'll go around this turn this turn is pretty sharp but let's test the body roll they just rem it's really impressive how flat that the GM SUVs remain going around turns like that. I mean, a lot of other vehicles, you'll feel like the, they feel just a little bit floaty, whereas this doesn't. However, it still has a very, very comfortable suspension. So GM, you got your suspension games down packed. The seating position is very good. I feel very comfortable in this driver's seat. Love the um, rear view camera mirror works phenomenally well however if you get this car and it has the rear view camera mirror and you don't like it push forward on that and then you just have just a regular rear view mirror so that's really cool i like to leave the rear view camera mirror on just personal preference like i mentioned but let me know what you guys think of the gmc acadia denali in the comment section down below do you guys like it do you guys not like it let me know in the comment section down below i think for the price you get a lot for your money especially considering the prices of cars nowadays you get a good amount of stuff for your money with the gmc acadia denali and i think um, it's very comfortable it looks good and uh, yeah, so that's what I think. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below, like I mentioned. Also, like I preached to you guys at the beginning of this video, I am gunning for 10,000 subscribers by the end of 2022, and I can't do that without your guys' help. So please give this video a big thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button. But that's it for today's video. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Peace.